Hello, so this is uh, another vector video. Um, uh, in particular, I just want to think about, or a little bit about, uh, triangle of forces, which is uh, a concept that one will uh, most certainly inevitably come across when working or learning vectors. Um, and um, so, first, uh, I won't work through all of uh, the kind of parts to this question. Maybe I'll do part A and part B or something. Um, but uh, so we're told that the diagram shows two strings attached to particle P, which you see here quite clearly, of weight Wn, uh, where you're given the value uh, for W, which are the parts, and and, um, and this is, uh, attached to two fixed uh, attached to two fixed points A and B. That's fine. The line A and B is horizontal. It's quite standard uh, to get that, and uh, P is hanging in uh, equilibrium, which is also quite standard. Uh, for this particular type of question when we are uh, going to be looking into triangle of forces uh, and uh, so and uh, of course alpha is uh, uh, angle BAP and uh, beta is angle ABP and uh, the magnitude of the tension BAP is T sub A uh, Newtons and the magnitude of tension BP is T sub B Newtons so uh, use a triangle of vectors to find T sub A and T sub B. If W equals uh, 5, weight equals 5, so the weight of P, and alpha is 40 degrees and beta is 50 degrees. So let's do that. We've got part A, um, and uh, we know that W is 5. So what I'll do, I'll just redraw this diagram like this and like this, and I don't know, maybe this feel, it seems daunting at the start, I don't really know. Uh, maybe not, but. Um, so we know that this is kind of P, sorry, something like that, right? And it's going down like this, and um, we know that the weights we're told is five, so it's going to be five newtons this way. Um, this is T sub A right here. So just write that T sub A, and that's of course in newtons. This is T sub B, and that of course is also in newtons. We've got alpha, and we've got beta. We know this is actually A, point A and point B. And we're told that alpha here is 40 degrees, so let's just write that in, 40 degrees, and we've got beta, which is 50 degrees. Okay, and we are asked to use a, tri uh, 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 use a triangle of vectors to find uh, uh, T sub A and T sub B. Okay, that's fine. Um, so the first thing here, before we get to, you, you can call it a triangle of vectors or triangle of forces, and, um, in essence, um, well, let's first start this part. I think the first part, really, that one just needs to, to, to recognize is um, in order to, to draw our, our, our triangle of vectors, we need to find the angle here that these make with P. And that's really simple when you think about it. All you want to do is just drop an altitude right down to P, which, of course, means that this is a 90-degree angle, right? And this is also a 90-degree angle. Well, suddenly, okay, we've got... Uh, wh well, let's just start with the left here. Uh, we've got 40 degrees, that's 90, and um, that's 40, right? And that's 90, which is uh, which is 130, which is to say that this is going to be 50, right? Because then it equals 180. Uh, likewise here, we've, we've got uh, 90 degrees, we've got 50 degrees, um, which is going to mean that this is 40 degrees. Uh, and so in understanding that, we can now draw our triangle of vectors or our triangle of forces. In this case, P, right, let's just say that this is P, it's going down, it's 5. Mm, I wish I would draw this, I've got space, I'll just draw it here, it's fine. So it's going down, like this, whoops, this, and that's 5 newtons. Uh, and we can picture T sub A going up like this, Right, and T sub B is going up like this. This is T sub A. T sub A, and this is T sub B. And uh, the angle that T sub A makes with uh, P, this 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 uh, vector right here, right, five. The 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 angle that it makes is fifty degrees. You see that right here. We just we just found that, so we just mark that in fifty. The angle that uh, that uh, that um, T sub B makes here, well, that's going to be 40. 
And so, just in basic logic, we can understand that this angle is going to be 90, right? 40, 50 is 90. This is going to also, this is this, which means that this angle here has to be 90. It's going to be 90. Uh, and so from that, we just if we need to find, if the objective here is to find T sub A, the tension, uh, and T sub B, right, the tension here, you know, we just uh, use the sine rule. Uh, so let's do that, T sub A, I'm just going to use the sine rule. So T sub A is going to equal, well, T sub A over, um, over sine 40, sine 40. And of course, we're going to set that equal to 5 over sine 90 and if you're uh, up to date with your trig and you'll know that sine 90 is just 1 right and so all of this basically comes down to is just uh, 5 t sub a is going to be equal to uh, 5 sine 40 and 5 sine 40 let's just find that while we're here we might as well um, just put that into my calculator 5 sine 40, 5 sine 40 into my fx991, yes, and we've got that's approximately 3.21. 3.21 to 3 significant figures. Uh, for T sub B, which is the tension, we're just finding it's the exact same. We just uh, use the sine rule. So T sub B over T sub B over uh, sine 50. And uh, we don't. One, if you, if one saw that it was sine ninety, you wouldn't have to write all this out. I'm just going to do it anyway, um, just for making it all very explicit. So it's five over using the sine rule and sine ninety, of course. Sine ninety. We know that sine ni sine uh, ninety is one. So this just again comes down to five sine fifty, right? And uh, that's just approximately. Let's find that five sine uh, 50. It's 3.83 approximately. 3.8. 3 to 3 uh, significant figures. And of course these are in newtons. I should label not be so lazy. So newtons, newtons. Right? Um, so uh, 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 the, the main thing really is to just understand that you can drop an altitude here and once you do that you can find the angle and once you find the angle then it's so simple right you just you can draw your uh, triangle of forces and I mean as an aside if the deeper logic behind this is that um, since the particle is hanging in equilibrium particle P here is hanging in, in, in equilibrium there is no resultant force right and so um, this means that if we add the three force vectors uh, um, together, the resultant is zero. And because of this, um, we can essentially, th because of this, the vectors basically form a triangle, right? Okay, so that's the logic that can kind of connects what's happening over here. Um, when we have our, our uh, diagram with particle P hanging in equilibrium to the step to get over here, we've got our, for our triangle of forces. And then from there, again, the sign rule, and it's all quite simple. So let's just do one more really quick. Uh, so we, uh, uh, we have T sub A. So I'll just, I'll just redraw that. Why not redraw that? Okay, looks more like this, I guess. Uh, you know, this is B, and this, this is A. I'll just do this really quickly. This is a particle P. P, of course, comes down. So then this is the weight of P. And so for B, we're told that the weight is 6, so 6 newtons. Uh, we are told that alpha is 30 degrees, and we are told that beta is 45 degrees. So again, let's just drop an altitude here. Got 90 degrees, so actually, I'll, why don't I just do it this way? To make it look good. So that's 90 degrees, that forms a 90 degree angle. Uh, and we've got 45 degrees here, beta is 45, right? And that's 90, so that just leads us to, you know, to, to logically come to the conclusion that this is 45 degrees. Uh, and this angle, well that's 30, that's 90, uh, that's 120, so this is 60, right? Because 180 minus, uh, minus uh, 120 is 60. Uh, and so from there, that's, that's I, I don't know, I, I suppose that's really just the, the main step, I would say, because you, to draw this now, like if that leads us over here, we draw our triangle of forces, well, we've got this vector here, 6 newtons, I should probably label these, but 6 newtons, it doesn't matter, 6, 
Okay, and we're going up here. Well, it does matter, but for the sake of this video, anyway. Um, so it's like this, and so we've got our. Oh yeah, this is T sub A. I should T sub A. That's T sub B, of course. So this is T sub A. And we've got a vector here. It goes up like this. That's T sub B. And so we need to ask ourselves, well, what does what angle does T sub A make, right, with this vector here at particle P? Well, it's 60 degrees, we've just found that. And what about uh, T sub B? This vector is 45. We've already just, we just found that as well. And so, uh, well, what is uh, 45 plus 60? Well, that is, is of course, uh, 105, right? And um, what is 180 minus 105? That is uh, one, uh, 75. So we are left to understand that this angle right here is 75. Uh, five. And so now all we need to do basically is we just need to um, uh, use the sine rule to find t sub a and t sub b. So let's just do that quickly. t sub a equals, uh, well, t sub a over, um, over sine 45. And, uh, and that's going to be o uh, six equals 6 over sine 75. Five and one might already recognize the value of uh, of uh, sine forty five, which is um, of course square root of two over two. And if you have the decimal, you may have that memorized. So it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so let's just multiply the sine forty five. So you get T A. I'll just write it over here. This kind of brings us to this point where we have T A equals uh, six sine forty five over sine 75 which, and I'll just plug this into my calculator very quickly, we get 6 sine 45 over uh, sine 75 and we are, we reach approximately, approximate value just go to three significant figures um, so approximately it's about 4.39 4.39 SF and let's just do T sub B to conclude this video. So it's T sub B. We're using the sine rule, of course. T sub B is uh, going to be over sine 60. And uh, we've still got our 6 over sine 75 here. And so that leads us to finding that T sub B, the tension, is, uh, is uh, equal to uh, 6 sine 60 over sine 75 and if I just plug that into my calculator 6 sine 60 we know that we're going to get um, we're going to get a decimal value sine 75 that is roughly approximately we'll just go to 3 let's just say 5.38 that's a 3s so that's it. That's, all, that's uh, the answer for part A and B, and one could go on and carry. And one could carry on with C and D and E. Um, so anyway, the, the the main focus was just the, the triangle of forces, uh, sort of where that comes from and why it works uh, when a, a particle is hanging in uh, equilibrium, and just more so how to find the angles here. So that, that's the crucial step. Once you find the angle, it's quite simple. You can just find uh, the tension in this case, T sub A and T sub B.